Hi. Now in this video, what I want to be doing is just part C of this question here. If you're unsure of parts A and B, I've done them in earlier videos, but I've written the solutions out just to help you should you need it for part C. So I'll just give you a moment to pause the video if you haven't seen this question before and want to try it. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to find the probability of x is less than or equal to 8. And all we need to do to get that is substitute our value of x equals 8 into the commutative distribution function f of x. Because remember, this gives us the value of the probability of being less than or equal to any given value of x. So what we do then is we can say that the probability of x being less than or equal to 8 is equal to f of 8. And 8 occurs in this interval between 4 and 10, so we just need to substitute 8 into here. So it's going to equal 8 over 3 minus 8 squared over 60 minus 2 thirds. And if you work that out, you end up with 14 fifteenths.